Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Let's discuss circumference of the circle. Okay, so from our previous lessons, we have already named the different terms relating to circle. So now let's have a brief review about the different parts of a circle. So, we have the diameter. So, we all know yung diameter. Ito yung pinaka uh, longest chord. And this is the line that passes through the center of the circle. And it divides the circle into two equal parts. So, for example, we have this circle. So, ang diameter dito ay itong line na nasa gitna. Dapat kasi tatawid siya sa, or dadaan siya sa center. Okay, so that is the diameter. Another is the radius. Radius, this is the line that passes through the center of the circle and the half of the diameter. So, ito yung kalahati ng diameter. And naaalala nyo pa ba kung ano ang plural form ng radius? Yes, it is radii. So, pag marami ng radius tayo nakikita sa circle, ang plural form na niya is radii. Okay, so ang radius dito ay itong... Uh, color blue na line na to. And, tatandaan nyo, kalahati siya ng diameter. Next is the circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle. So, ito yung distance around a circle. So, yung broken lines yan, that represents the circumference. Yung mga terms na binanggit natin kanina, or yung mga parts ng circle, ay may mga relationship sa isa't isa. So, the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter is about 3.14. So, pag kinuha natin yung ratio ng circumference ng circle at i-compare natin siya sa diameter, it is about 3.14. And 3.14 is also called pi. So, saan ba natin gagamitin itong value ng ating pi? Okay, so let's study this illustration. So we have number line, then yung starting point natin, 0. So meron tayo ditong circle. Yung, yung diameter ng circle na to is 1 cm. Then we have another circle. Ang diameter naman nito is 2 cm. And our third circle measures 4 cm yung kanyang diameter. So ito naman yung kanyang... Yang arrow na nakikita nyo dito sa circle A, eh, yan yung ano niya, uh, circumference. Okay, so yan yung circumference ng circle B at circumference ng circle C. Okay, so... So, take a look at this table. So, meron tayo kanina sinabi yung circle A. Ang length ng kanyang diameter is 1 cm. Then, yung estimated circumference niya is about 3 and 1 6 or about 3 and 16 hundredths. So, kapag kinuha natin yung ratio ng circumference, circumference sa, ating diam sa diameter ng circle A, that is 3 and 16 over, uh, 3 and 16 hundredths over 1 or Pag dinivide natin yan, that is equivalent to 3 and 16 hundredths. Then, yung ating circle B, ang length ng kanyang diameter is 2 cm. So, ang kanyang estimated circumference is about 6 and 1 third or about 6 and 33 hundredths. So, pag dinivide natin ang 6 and 33 hundredths over 2, kung saan, 2 ang kanyang uh, diameter, ang ating makukuha sa got is or ratio is 3 and 165,000. Next, ang ating circle C ay may length na 4 cm at ang kanyang estimated circumference is about 12 and half or about 12 and 5 tenths. So, when we get the ratio of our of the circumference of circle C over the diameter that is 3 and 125,000. So, napansin nyo na lahat or the ratio of the circumference to the diameter of a circle is the same for any circle and is equivalent to the number pi, which is approximately 3 and 14 hundredths, as shown in the fourth column of the table above. Pi is spelled as pi and is spread as pi. So, yung value ng pi natin is 
3.14 which is ito yung gagamitin nating value sa paghahanap ng ating circumference or ng circumference ng isang circuit. So, we can generate the formula of the circumference of a circle from the ratio between the circumference and the diameter. So, kanina, diniscuss natin na ang pi is equal to the circumfer circumference over the diameter. So, para ma-generate natin ng circumference formula, gagamit lamang tayo ng criss-cross method. Maglalagay ako dito ng denominator na 1 para makapag-cross multiply tayo. So, i-cross multiply muna natin ang 1 times circumference. So, that is circumference. Then, multiply natin ang pi at diameter. So, pi and pi multiplied sa diameter sa so, pi times diameter. Then, pi-clean natin siya kasi formula, di ba? So, yung circumference, gawin natin C. Tapos, equal natin sa pi and D. D stands for the diameter. Or pwede rin naman, so kung naalala nyo pa na ang diameter ay may dalawang radius, di ba? So pwede nating i-represent yung ating formula kapag given naman ng radius. So C equals 2 pi R. So yun yung pwede nating gamitin formula. Yung 2R na yan, yan yung equivalent sa ating diameter. So, para mas maintindihan natin, syempre, magbibigay tayo ng example. So, given a circle with a radius of 5 cm, so, hahanapin natin ang circumference ng circle na ito. So, this is the illustration. So, ang, circa, ang radius ng isang circle is 5 cm. So, given ang radius, we will use the formula C equals 2 pi, 2 pi r kasi radius ang hinahanap. Ang gagawin lamang natin is we will substitute the given values to the formula. So, C equals 2 times what is the value of pi, that is 3.14, multiplied natin sa value ng radius which is 5 cm. So, i-multiply lang natin. Then, we will now get the circumference of the circle with a radius of 5 cm. And that is 31.4 cm. So, gamitin naman natin kung ang ating ga, uh, gagamitin formula is yung C is equals to pi D. Para lang may pakita natin na kahit magka, uh, na magkaiba yung formula, pero same pa rin yung ating magagamit or makukuha ang sagot. So, to find D, since ang, ang given is yung radius na 5, kukunin natin yung diameter niya. Ang diameter is equal to twice or twice ng radius. So, mumultiply lang natin yung radius natin sa sa 2. So, we will get the diameter value for, is 10 cm. Then, substitute natin yung ating nakuhang diameter, 3.14 multiplied natin sa 10 cm. So, again, we will get the circumference of the circle which is 31.4 cm. So, ang ginagawa ko, ang Ginagamit ko kapag radius ang given, itong C equals 2 pi R. Kapag naman diameter ang given, ang ginagamit kong formula is C equals pi D. Let's have another example. So, we have a, gi a given circle with a diameter of 48 inches. So, ito yung ating circle. Ang kanyang diameter ay 48 inches. So, dito, given yung diameter. So, ang mas prefer kong formula na gamitin is yung C equals pi D. Para direct substitute, substitute na tayo doon sa uh, value ng diameter. So, C equals, ang value ng pi is 3.14 multiplied natin sa value ng diameter which is 48 inches. Then, we will get the circumference that is 150 and 7200 inches. So that's that. So let's apply circumference to this problem. Rimuru Tempest has built a circular pond in the Jura Tempest Federation as a part of their beautification project. The pond has a diameter of 20 meters. What is the distance around the pond? So hinahanap natin dito ay yung distance around the pond which is the circumference of the pond. Ang given naman dito is yung diameter na 20 meters. 
So we have steps to follow when we solve problem. So ito yung first step process natin, first step rule. So we have step 1, read and understand the problem. So we can read and understand the problem by answering what is asked in the problem and what are the given facts. So ano-ano ba yung mga tinatanong sa problem? So tinatanong yung distance around the pond or we can also say that the, the circumference around the pond. Then, what are the given facts? Ang given dito, yung diameter na 20 meters. Then, step number 2, we have to plan. Plan what must be done to solve the problem. So, para ma-solve natin yung problem, we have to solve for the circumference. And, we will use the formula C equals pi D since ang given is yung diameter. So, C equals 3.14 yung value ng pi times natin sa 20 meters. So we have to solve an answer. Carry out the plan and write the final answer. So, yun sa plan natin kanina, yung, kinuha natin, ay, yung ginawa nating uh, number sentence, which is C equals 3.14 times 20 meters. Yun. Then, i-solve natin siya. Then, we will get the answer of 62 and 80 hundreds meters, which is the value of our circumference. So, the circumference of the circular pond is 62 and 80 hundreds meters. Then, step 4. Uh, is the answer correct? So, paano gagawin natin? Para ma-check natin kung tama ba yung ans ating answer, we check this by division. So, you can see that it is correct since the quotient match the given diameter. So, i-divide lang natin yung ating nakuhang circumference sa given diameter. Pwedeng i-divide din natin yung ating circumference sa given or sa value ng pi kung makukuha natin yung diameter na 20 meters. So, yun yung two ways natin para ma-check if the answer is correct. Activity Solve for the circumference of each circle and fill in the radius and the diameter below the circle. So, meron tayong ditong given circle with a radius of 5 inches. So, i-determine natin ang radius, ang diameter, at yung circumference. So, how? Siyempre, given ang radius, ilagay natin dito sa radius ang 5 inches. Then, Find the diameter given the radius since ang radius ay twice o since ang diameter is twice the radius. So, we will multiply the given radius by 2. So, 5 inches multiplied by 2 that is equal to 10 inches. So, given ang ating inches and uh, ang ating diameter and radius. So, we cannot solve for the circumference since dito sa ating illustration or figure given ang radius. So, gamitin natin yung yung formula na C equals 2 pi r. So, substitute the given radius to the formula. 2 times the value of pi is 3.14. Then, multiply by the given value for the radius which is 5 inches. So, the circumference obtained is 31 and 4 tenths inches. So, that is the value of the circumference with a radius of 5 inches. Okay, next, circle. So, the circle has a radius of, tw of 25 cm. So, again, we will identify the radius, the diameter, and solve for the circumference. So, again, given ang radius, ilagay na natin dito sa ating, uh, naka, uh, sa ating radius, 25 cm. Again, to find the diameter, we will multiply the radius by 2. 25 cm multiplied by uh, by 2, that is 50 cm. Then, we can now solve for the circumference. Again, ang ating given is, is radius. So, we will use the formula C equals 2 pi r. Substitute the given radius to the formula. C equals 2 times 3.14, the value of pi, multiplied by the value of r radius, which is 25 cm. So, the circumference now is 157 centimeter. Again, pag magsusulat kayo ng yung final answer for the circumference, don't forget to write the unit of measurement. 
Okay, next circle. So this circle has a radius of 10 meters. So let's identify the radius, the diameter, and the circumference. So given the radius, isulat natin 10 meters. And to find the diameter, we will multiply the given radius by 2. So 10 meters times 2, that is 20 meters. And we can now solve for the circumference using the formula C equals 2 pi r. Dahil ito ang ating given, uh, uh, radius ang ating given. So ito yung ginamit natin yung formula. So substitute again the given values for pi and radius. So we will get 125 and 6 tenths meter as the circumference of this circuit. Okay, next, circle. Okay, so dito naman, makikita natin na diameter ang given. The diameter of the circle measures 49 centimeter. So, lagay natin ang 49 centimeter sa diameter. Okay, so paano natin makukuha ang radius? So, we can get the radius by dividing 49 or the diameter by 2. 49 centimeter divide natin sa 2, so the value of the radius is 24 and 5 tenths centimeter. Kasi di ba ang kalaha kalahati ng diameter ang ay kalahati ng radius ang diameter. Okay, so to find the circumference naman, since given ang ating diameter, so we will we can use the formula C equal C equals pi d. Then direct substitu substitution sa mga value ng ating uh, sa mga given values sa ating formula so C equals 3.14 times 49 centimeter and the circumference of the circle will be 153 and 8600 centimeter okay so let's now proceed on solving problem involving circumference of a circle so this is the problem how much greater is the circumference of the circle with a diameter of 12 meters than another circle with a radius of 5 meters? So, dito sa ating problem, tinatanong kung gaano daw ka greater or kalaki yung circumference ng unang circle natin which has a diameter of 12 meters. And, kumpara natin doon sa... Uh, circumference ng another circle na may radius na 5 meters. So, step 1, read and understand the problem. So, inanalyze natin yung problem and we come up with uh, what is asked in the problem. Ito yung hinahanap natin is yung how greater the circumference of a circle with a, with a diameter of 12 meters than another circle with a radius of 5 meters. And the given facts are the diameter of the first circle is 12 meters and the radius of the another circle is 5 meters. Okay, step 2 is planning. So, to solve for the circumference of the two circles, so, ang gagawin natin is we're going to solve for the circumference ng dalawang circle. Then, after nyan, para makuha natin yung kanilang uh, kung gano'n ba kalaki yung isang circle sa another circle or sa other circle, we will get their difference or we will get the difference of their circumference. So, ipagmaminus natin yung nakuha nating circumference ng dalawang circle. Okay, step 3, solve and answer. So, unahin muna natin kunin ang circumference ng isang circle. Yung unang circle na ang diameter ay 12 meters. So, we will use the formula C equals pi D dahil ang given ay diameter. Then, substitute natin ang value ng pi and value ng diameter. So, C equals 3.14 multiplied by 12 meters. So, the circumference of the first circle is 37 and 68 hundredths meter. Next is, kunin naman natin ang circumference ng another circle na may, na may radius na 5 meters. So, dahil radius ang given, ang ginamit kong formula is C equals 2 pi r. Substitute the given values to the formula, C equals 2 times 3.14 times 5 meters and we will get the circumference of the other circle that is 31 and 4 tenths meter.
Okay, so since nakuha na natin yung dalawang circumference, gagawin natin ay kukunin natin ang difference ng dalawang circumference. So, ang first circle natin measures 37 and 68 hundredths meters. Subtract natin ang 31 and 4 tenths meter. And ang ating magiging sagot is 6 and 28 meters. 6 and 28 hundredths meter. So, ngayon, the circle with a diameter of 12 is 6 and 28 hundredths meters greater than the other circle with radius of 5 meters. So, again, para ma-check natin kung tama ba yung sagot nyo, pwede nyo i-divide yung ating given or obtained value of circumference sa radius or sa ating diameter para malaman natin kung tama ba na 3.40 ng kalalabasan. Or pwede rin naman, i-divide natin yung circumference sa, uh, sa 3.14 at makita natin kung tama ba na, na ang kalalabasan ay 12 meters para dun sa unang circle at 5 meters para naman dun sa pangalawang circle. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.